Diving with the Oceanic Veil 1.0 is very easy. In this video we will take you for a dive with the Veil 1.0 dive computer. But first we will review its planning capabilities. While in surface mode, you can access the Veil 1.0 pre-dive planning sequence. This is a tool that allows you to plan the maximum bottom time for your dive based on the expected depth. The pre-dive planning sequence provides a sequence of theoretical dive times available for depths ranging from 30 to 190 feet. To access the pre-dive planning sequence from the surface mode, hold the button for 6 seconds until you see the plan lead-in display. Let's look at the plan lead-in display when diving air. This display contains the following information. PZ Plus icon if selected, graphic plan, and graphic air. Press the button to enter the pre-dive planning sequence. Then, press the button to increase the plan depth. When diving air, the pre-dive planning sequence display contains the following information. Plan depth value with icon, dive time allowed with NDC or O2, and min icons, graphic air, and FO2 icon. Once the pre-dive planning sequence reaches the maximum allowed depth, hold the button to return to the plan lead-in display. If the button is not pressed for two minutes, the Veil 1.0 will automatically return to the main surface mode. Okay, enough talking. Time to get wet. We're diving at Shiprock in Catalina Island, California, and our objective for this dive is to explore the wall located southeast of Shiprock. The base of the wall is at 130 feet, but we will limit our maximum depth to 110 feet. According to the Veil 1.0 planning sequence, we should limit our dive time to 13 minutes. My buddy is ready. Let's descend. As soon as you descend deeper than 5 feet, the Veil 1.0 will enter the no decompression dive mode. When diving air, the no decompression dive mode has a main display plus one alternate display. To cycle between the two displays, just press the button. While diving, it is good practice to monitor your dive computer every few minutes. We are almost at the wall. We reached our target depth. Let's cruise around the wall and look for marine life. Hmm, the nitrogen loading bar is almost in the caution zone. And we are getting close to our planned bottom time. Let's signal the buddy to head back to the boat and make a safe ascent. While ascending, it is important to monitor the variable ascent rate indicator. Upon ascending to 20 feet on any node decompression dive in which the depth exceeded 30 feet, the Veo 1.0 will display the safety stop screen. In this video we took you for a dive using the Oceanic Veo 1.0 dive computer. 